There's a black hole speed limit that hints at new laws of physics. If you thought the speed limit on the highway was too low, wait until you hear about the new speed limit for smashing black holes. Over to our roving reporter, Mr. Marty McFly. A new study says that when two black holes crash into each other, they can't go faster than 63 million miles per hour, 102 million kilometers per hour. That's one-tenth of the speed of light, or about a million times faster than a cheetah. That's the fastest they can go before they either stick together or bounce off each other like rubber balls. The researchers want to use Einstein's fancy maths to show that this speed limit is the real deal and that it might change how we think about physics. They say this speed limit could be part of a bigger picture that connects everything from atoms to galaxies. The fate of two black holes that encounter each other depends on how close they get and how they are spinning. If they are too far apart, they will simply fly by each other. If they are close enough, they will either merge or bounce off each other with a huge recoil speed. To find out the maximum recoil speed possible, researchers use supercomputers to solve the equations of general relativity for different scenarios of black hole collisions. This is about how black holes can get kicked out of their neighborhoods by other black holes. It's kind of like a cosmic game of dodgeball, except the balls are super massive and can warp space and time. The scientists who study this say that there is a limit to how hard a black hole can get hit, but they are not sure if nature agrees with them. Maybe there are some sneaky black holes that can cheat and hit harder than they should. Squark! So, now you know about the black hole speed limit. Revealing a tipping point between the black holes merging and scattering, where their recoil velocity reaches a maximum. We just don't make these things up, you know. The link to the paper is down below in the comments. OMG! I just found out that Einstein was a real person. And all this time I thought he was just a theoretical physicist. Hello there, science dummies! Don't forget to like and subscribe!